Portuguese ship, the Sao Jose Paquete de Africa, sailing from Mozambique to Brazil, sank in turbulent waters near Cape Town in December 1794. More than 200 slaves on board died. A recent discovery of the remains of the ship has attracted a lot of attention across the globe. Researchers say this is the first time that the remains of a slave ship that went down with slaves aboard has been identified. Objects retrieved from the Sao Jose have now gone on display at the Iziko Slave Lodge Museum in Cape Town. This after a ceremony was held to honor the slaves who died. And we are in the business of conducting research in order to tell the world where these people who have been forgotten, where they now are. Objects retrieved from the ship include fragile remnants of shackles, iron ballast to weigh down the ship and its human cargo, copper, fastenings and a wooden pulley block. There has been no trace of human remains. Researchers have hailed the recent discovery saying it marked a milestone in the study of the slave trade. It's important that we think of it also in a global context. This ship foundered in 1794 in the midst of the Haitian Revolution, just mere years after the signing of the U.S. Constitution, wherein lawmakers were deciding whether those enslaved were human or not, or perhaps two-thirds. Other artifacts from the ship are said to be loaned to the National Museum of African American History and Culture in the U.S. Mahemutwa, CCTV.